Welcome back everyone to NHL 22. We're gonna be doing the Washington Capitals franchise mode as you guys voted for. Of course with the member rosters now completed and if you are a member and didn't submit a build you will be randomized, you will be in the game. But for those of you who are more new to it, the membership stuff, look into the community tab. There's members only posts and that's where I put relevant information for that kind of stuff in a place for you guys to submit your builds and whatnot. But my oh my, we'll see how rusty I am playing some NHL 22 and... Uh, see if we could defeat the algorithm and uh, because I took over a month off of uh, making videos because I was well in Finland So gonna need your guys' help to get back on YouTube's good side. So go ahead and hit that like button uh, You know or smash the like. I don't know whatever cool youtubers say. I'm definitely not a cool youtuber <laughs> I'm just a guy who makes NHL videos and sometimes other videos the best to his ability. So, this is going to be quite interesting here. Speaking of which, man, I might babble about Finland from time to time on here because I had such an amazing time. I mean, I spent a month there, fell in love with it. I'm actually considering moving there uh, next spring slash summer. Uh, yeah, that's how hard that place hit me. So, uh, you know what I'd love to hear? Because I love hearing travel stories and just, you know, learning about people in general. For you guys, have you ever been to Europe? Or if you've been to Finland, shout yourselves out. Tell me a little, like... One of your travel stories or something like that. Just a little snippet. And if you're if you're in Finland and if you live in the Helsinki area, shout yourself out and then ask yourself why the hell didn't we ever hang out or anything? Because I was there for a month. What the hell? <laughs> so yeah, go ahead and do that. I'd love to hear some of you guys' travel stories if you have traveled or, you know, from the States to Europe. Or maybe even if you're from Europe, have you ever been to the States? And uh, what's your take on that? <laughs> Probably not great. Um, anyway, uh, let's... Yeah, we're going to get this started here. I've, I've already gone ahead. You can see we're simmed a couple days forward. Uh, I went ahead and refreshed the scouting thing. Nothing below a C. Everyone in the uh, uh, in the locations that I like. So I'll show you how I do it. Uh, no NHL scouts. No AHL scouts. All amateurs. So I do, uh, I do two in all the major leagues. Two Russia. Two Liga. Two SHL. Don't worry about the efficiency, obviously. Um, then, of course, the European Ice. Extra Liga. NLA. Dell. Um... USA East and West, then two in the Central, because that's the more major of the leagues, then uh, two in every single CHL uh, league slash division, whatever the hell you want to call it. So there it is. Uh, and never, ever worry about region efficiency. When we get a new group of scouts, obviously, we're going to go for the highest grade available. Region efficiency pretty much can go from, like, E to almost A in a year. So never really worry about this. Just put them in, put them where you got them. If, you know, obviously, you try to get the highest grade there that you can, but mostly just worry about scouting overall. That's, that's the trick there. So there you go, a little bit of a small breakdown of what I like to do and stuff like that. So let's take a look at what this team has to work with here. Um, no. <laughs> so, Ovechkin, Kuznetsov, Wilson, Oshie, Baxter. Oh, that's right, they have Anthony Manth, I forgot. Sherry, Eller, Hathaway, yeah. So, the plan with the... Oh, fuck me. Yikes, that defensive core. And, yeah, uh, the rosters aren't going to be perfect, obviously, because EA's slow. Um, I don't do the rosters myself i basically have i pay uh pay snipe to go ahead and add in the members so these rosters aren't going to be perfect but also this is technically back in time anyway because it starts at the beginning of the season so eh, the rosters aren't going to be perfect and that doesn't matter because within three years the league's going to be fucked anyway because the ai is terrible we all know that we're just going to accept it and we're going to have fun because that's the most we could do with this game is to make Make what you can out of it. Anyway, we're going to have Vanishek and Samsonov. <laughs> two, two goalies that definitely still exist in Caps uniforms. Um, that's pretty fucking awful. Not going to lie. How the hell... Like, obviously, the goal here is we're trying to win Ovi another cup. We're trying to win Ovi another cup here. Basically, until he retires, we're trying to win. Whew, it's going to be tough. It is going to be tough. With this lineup, man. I mean, we could make it slightly better by moving up homeboy here. Also, damn, dude. Do we have any... Like, I can honestly... Okay, you know what? We got some better options here. Like, that guy ain't bad and all, but... Oh, never mind. We don't have that many better options. Come on, now. Schultz a DFD. No, he's an OFD. What? What? 
Oh, because Kemp needs two way. Why was him and Irwin at minus... Okay, because they both really hate it there, I guess. That's pretty shit, though. It's an OFD and a DFD. That should count for something, I guess. Maybe not. <laughs> this coach sucks. We also have TVR in here. Like, I could I replace Jensen with him? Like, not really, because that's he's still better. They all have, like, the same crap. These guys are only plus one. That I don't understand. Look at the chemistry. How the hell is that only plus one? Between an OFD. Okay, because he's two-way, I guess. But, mm, I mean, I could do that and make it okay. <laughs> you might want to just to negate the freaking horrible, horrible. Yeah, Favory. Fer 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 I don't know. Favory? Favory? I don't know. Which sucks. He's a prospect. Oh, he's only he's only high six potential, so he's really only gonna become that force. Maybe I trade him so I don't have to freaking pronounce that name. Um. Okay. What the hell else do we have here? <laughs> Snivelly. Snivelly. Matt Molson still exists. What? Okay. Also. Oh no. That's that's not the Lapierre I was thinking of. All right. Johan Larson is okay. He looks about fifty years old, but. He's not. Man. We have some decent prospects. Alexiev's a decent pro. Cody Franson. This is, yeah, legit, this is the retirement home of washed up players. Oh, top four, and he's only 74. Rip. McElrath. Oh, Mr. First Rounder. <laughs> Tenth overall, imagine. Uh, yeah. Oh, goodness gracious. Probably some guys I might want to play here and there. Well, if they're, like, top nine, I'm not going to worry too much about it. Unless they could really become something top 60. He's a, what, is he 18, though? Why aren't you playing? Yeah, might as well play him. You never know. Might as well play, 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 play Bjorklund as well. Why the hell not? My goodness. Okay, we're going to take a look at the overall system as well. We just want to get it, get our bearings, see what the hell we're working with here in Washington. What, 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 basically, it's like, what can you trade <laughs> for, for stuff to win now? If you can. LaPierre is that, that you're looking at, you're looking, you want this guy to pan out, obviously. It looks like he should. And maybe even 2C, like... Or a really solid 3C. Like, yeah, you have, you have options with him. You don't have a horrible system. Obviously, no top-of-the-line guys, but that's what you get with Washington. They've just been competitive for as long as they have been. Not any top-of-the-line guys, but there's there's definitely some stuff. There's definitely some stuff here. Basically, you have Alexiev and LaPierre, who should be NHLers. The rest, who the hell knows? Protoss, he could be. Protoss, Protoss. No, he's Protoss. We must construct additional pylons. Pylons, pylons, p p p pylon. All right, I won't sing the whole song, but go look it up. Or if you know, if you know what I'm talking about, you're the real MVP. Mm. Cody Clark could be something. Other than that, though, yeah, you know, pretty trash. Bjorklund, I'm pretty stoked about that guy. <laughs> wow, they they're generous to him. He looks like he could be pretty uh pretty cool. Everything else, uh, who the hell knows? Samsonov, Vanacek, who doesn't want to sign. At least we're not spending a ton of money on goaltenders. The problem is you only have 1.4 mil of cap space. So you can't really add right here off the bat. Where the hell's the money coming from is what we want to know. Oh, she's making way too much. Oh, she's making way too much. Mantha probably making too much as well, but you can maybe get him some stack growth. Yeah, that's the problem is you have all these, like, 5 mil. Oh, God, Orlov. Orlov's another one. Schultz can all... Ugh. I mean, kinda, but no. Hagel... Jesus criminy, yeah. You just have so many kind of just questionable contracts. And that's really adding up. Like, look at all those. These, one, two, three, four, five, six. Like, those are all questionable contracts. You can kind of... No, you can't. Never mind. I was gonna say you can kind of rational... No, you can't. You, you can't, rat, like, maybe almost rationalize Eller, but he should be making under three for sure. It, it just all adds up right here. So, yeah, we're 
We're not going to go crazy and make any trades yet. We're 50 out of 50 contracts. We're going to... We're just going to see. We're going to see how this team wants to go. So, settings-wise, you guys already know. Um, you know, injuries set to 20. Hard trade difficulty and things like that. Oh, and now as you guys have now seen the line, we are going to bring the contests back. See, getting back in the swing of things. And it's all, you know, point scoring contesting. If you should know the rules by now. If you are new, it's very, very simple. For every every season after free agency at the beginning of the season, or in the free agency video, essentially, you guys will be making predictions who you think league leaders will be in points or the league best goaltender. Now, you have to choose who you think is going to lead the team in points, either a forward or defenseman, and then who also who you think is going to lead the league in points, either a forward or defenseman. Now, you have to choose a forward and a defenseman or two forwards you can't choose two defensemen for it and they can't be the same person because obviously if Ovechkin leads the league in points he's gonna lead lead the team in points yeah pretty simple and then of course you choose we also choose who we think the best goaltender is gonna be it's not based on trophies it's more of a combination like save percentage shoot uh, shutouts what their record is like like what kind of team are they on goals against all that kind of good stuff so hopefully I explained that pretty uh basically take a look in the comment section you'll see people doing it and it should be easy to figure out. I might actually play Mantha top line. Just to, to see if we can maybe get him some stack growth. Oshi, Backstrom, Wilson. Could also do this. Backstrom and Kuznetsov on the second line. He's only got 70 face-offs. Backstrom, oh, it's only slightly better. But Backstrom, uh, I mean, technically Kuznetsov has better awareness and stuff, but... You gotta play Backstrom and Ovi together. And maybe this will spread some of the love. I don't know. We'll try that out. Uh, another thing I want to do. I want to... Yeah, I don't... I want... Oh, yeah, I want... Oh, yeah, McMichael's gotta go down too. Unless I plan. But he's listed as depth. So... Yeah. We're gonna make some moves here. Because we don't want those guys... Basically, we don't want them there. Alright, who can play... Oh, none of these guys. You don't want Alexia playing depth. Well, oh yeah, we got TVR. Derp, he, he's depth. Alright. Fervory is going down as well as McMichael. Those two guys going down. Who do I got to play forward depth? Larson, right? Yeah. Larson will be that guy because he's not... No, he's like... Yeah, he's 29. He's done. Alright, let's do that. We don't want those, like, they're listed as death. Yeah, they could get away with it, but I'm not going to do it. McMichael can play top line units in the A. And you're pretty much done. Let's put in. That's a tough call. Oof. All right, maybe I'll do that. I could try that. Yeah, whatever. Um, someone else we had here that I wanted to grow. It was Yorio, right? Yep. Vinny. Put you in there, and then there's, was there, ooh, that is horrible. That's yeah, pretty rough there. All right. <laughs> We're making it work. We're not going to spend too much time on this. I'm just throwing guys in who I really want. Let's see, ages. Top 9, 21, maybe. Right wing Sutter. All right, let's do that. Right wing Sutter. Just throw him in here. I don't care. Wait, what are you? Nope. Alright, right wing Sutter will go in here. What else? Just doing a quick look. Morelli, no. Mm, probably not. Mm, no. Two, it's 22, 68. I mean, maybe. Maybe I'll take. I'll think about it. Haas is 7. No. No. Hughes, bottom 6, though. What's the center? Oh, no. You want to try to grow a mountain in here. Yeah, I think everything else is good. Alright, who's that one guy I was thinking of? Geyser. 68, 22. Like, maybe if he grows a lot. But. Got to sum out for McElrath. And he's actually really boosting up Iorio there. So, you know what? I'm going to say no. Fuck it. Alright. So, that's, that's what we're going with there. We got everything kind of set up now. Now, we're just going to see what the hell happens this season. We can't, we can't like, per well, we, we'd have to trade guys to be able to sign anyone. I don't even think there's anyone good in free agency right now anyway. Definitely not. Yeah, not really. Not really whatsoever. Yeah. No one really worth spending money on. 
All right. Let's uh, let's see what's going to happen now, essentially. Uh, the scouts, obviously, will start being sent out and things like that. I'm just going to do everything kind of normally here. I'm trying to even remember how the hell I did this. It's been so long, man. Like, what, what am I doing? I think I've done an okay job so far. All right. Preseason was okay. All right. Starting off the regular season on a good note. 3-1-0, 3-2-0. Looking pretty. Okay. <laughs> there, he's out till January. One of our goaltenders goes down. You know what? Hey, it's a good thing we have that extra goaltender, which was Fukali. We'll just call him up. There we go. We can honestly just leave him up there. Yeah, I'll probably just leave him up there. What the hell else is he going to do? All right, Sam Sonov, you're getting starts now. Vanacek was doing pretty good. Sam Sonov's doing okay as well. They're both doing pretty good, I think. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they were. Holy hell. Our goaltenders were... They, we got two cheese goaltenders. You never know. You never know what's going to happen. Hello. What? So, essentially, you want Johansson and Hathaway for a third. Fuck out of here. Fuck you out of here. Uh, all right. This is a little... You know, I'll just... I will leave Oshi up there, just because you never know what we get offered for him, but probably going to have to hold on to him. Probably going to have to hold on to TJ Soshi. Four years left. Good God. Oh, boy. 7-4-1. Yikes, we're losing some games now. Anthony Mantha out to... Oh, man. Okay. That's all right. That's all right. Wilson, how you been doing? Oof, only... Uh, 10 points isn't bad. For, ooh, only 6 for Kuznetsov. Only 10 for Backstrom. 11. Ovi's kicking ass as he should. He's pretty much going to score. How was Mantha doing before he got injured? 8 points only. Maybe I got to switch him back. Maybe we need a goal scorer there. Uh, who the hell is my depth again? That's right, Larson. We're going to sub in all lines. I'm going to switch him with Wilson. For, uh, actually, let's keep the chemistry. Oof. You notice I didn't do any of that crap, because, yeah. I just wanted to see what it's what what the best line, or how the lines are built right now, what they're going to do. Alrighty. All that. <laughs> Two injuries right now is not fun. <sighs> only ten points, because Nessa's only got six. I'm going to try this. i got to try to boost him in some way. Like, just try, I don't know, we need something, something to happen here. I think I'll switch Wilson and, uh, we'll see, we'll see you when Mantha's back. It won't, shouldn't be too much longer. Shit, dude, we're losing some games, though. Maybe those lines are bad. Mantha's back. Alright, Mantha, get in there. That's rough. I kind of have to play it like this if I'm going with that, alright. Let's go back. Ugh. Jeez, man. 12, 10, and 1. Fortunately, we're in a wild card spot, but... Alright. Ovi, of, of course, is leading the way everywhere, because he's gonna. We're not scoring enough. Defense is pretty damn good. Yeah, power play. Okay, okay. Everything. Alright, so it's the offensive-based stuff. Let's take a look. Um, uh, before I even check out the personal stats, we know we gotta try to mess with this. Wilson, he's got 19 points. Mantis only got 10, but fuck him. Like, you... You got to earn your ice. <sighs> He's not really goal scoring, so what's the point of having him on a, in a goal scoring location? I guess we'll do that still. Go back to Mantha on the top line. I don't know. Yikes, big minuses. Okay. Ovechkin, Kuznetsov. Where the fuck is back? No, 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 no. Why is Backstrom not in the middle Carlson, yes. Maybe not Wilson here. Let's go Mantha. It's a gives us a pretty hefty minus here. I wish you could take draws. But the problem is we have no one else really It kinda has to be Eller, which is awful. He's got 80 face off, so why yeah, why bother? Take him off. Orlov, Schultz. 
Yeah, Schultz, Orlov, I guess. Like, it's a minus one, but we don't have many options here. Unless you go back to this, but... Nah. Like, Wilson is doing pretty damn good. Like, that's the thing. But, yeah, uh, I don't know. We're gonna load up that top power play, I guess. Duh. Can't really do much else besides that. Fukale's done pretty fucking good. Samsonov's doing awful. We need Vanishek back, but he ain't coming back till January. So hopefully when we get him back, we can kind of right that ship. Again, our big problem is just a lack of scoring overall. Oh, Johansson. Going to switch those to Ehler, Johansson, Shiri, who is a two-way. Haglund should be... Is he probably two-way at this point? Yeah, it's also two-way. I guess we'll try this. Johansson, Ehler, and Shiri. Hathaway onto the fourth line. Try that mix up, too, because they were... Yeah, they were heftily minus. We just got to... Like, fourth line wasn't doing bad. These guys were heavy minuses. That does nothing. I'll just leave it then. Okay. Try that out. <laughs> doing our best here with what we've got. Again, we could still purchase at the deadline, perhaps. Perhaps. We'll probably be looking to do that. Um, sp hold on. Speaking of which, do we have our first for this year? That might be something we may want to hold on to for a little bit until we can really decide. Until we, if we really see what the heck's going on. Yeah, we got we got all our picks besides a four. All right, not bad. Not too bad. We'll see. We'll see what happens. We shall see what happens here. Uh, I didn't check personal stats, but we kind of saw a good amount. All we care about is Ovi. Score goals. Score goals. He's got to be Gretzky's record. Uh, I could check progress reports after this. We're going to have a scouting coming up pretty soon right now. And we'll go ahead and do that. All right. Shane Wright. And I believe that's actually going to be a member because he's not in this roster, I believe. I could be wrong, but anyway. Um, obviously, there's going to be... That's not a member. <laughs> that's an amazing name, though. Gail Zinger. Uh, I don't have a, yeah, I don't have a fucking rest of the world scout. You dicks always. All you guys choosing the rest of the world are pretty much guaranteeing I'm not scouting you. <laughs> oh, boy. All right, you guys might be seeing some, uh, member names in here. Not that person. That's clearly a real name. The famous Jelly Diet. Diet. Should be Diet. I'm just gonna say Diet. You're now Jelly Diet. <laughs> Y'all remember that? There was like a children's book called like Bread and Jam or something about this bear who decided it was obviously a personified bear. I'm only going to eat bread and jam. And I was like, the dangers of not having a bear. It was like an educational type book. The dangers of not having a balanced diet. Because every day she could like jump rope just a little bit less or so. I don't fucking know. Hey, it's Bystead. Um. All right. Just scouting it up here. I do, Again, we're probably not going to find any of the cool steals and stuff in this first year. Alright, that's pretty much it. So let's go to target scouting here. Yeah, nothing there. And yeah, probably nothing great here, but we're going to scout anyway. First year is going to be interesting, especially with our scout pool being what it is. You're gonna, we're just going to do our best and hope for the best when it comes to scouting. But we'll try to have all the normal areas. It's like riding a bike. It's all coming back to me. It's all coming back. Well, I don't know if we're going to do the whole year. Since we do plan to make the playoffs, we'll probably stop at the deadline. Because if we were rebuilding, obviously we'd try to do that full year and get to a draft ASAP. But it's not kind of where we're at right now. Not No point scouting that guy. Okay, any lows here? Yes, but good luck. I mean, there could be some low elites. There could be in the first couple years. But it's just much less likely. And this is going to be interesting. As we are trying to be a win-now team, even uh, even in the beginning, it's going to be pretty difficult, obviously, to get our hands on member prospects, or at least a lot of them, which is fine. You know, every, every everything's going to be different. We don't, and I and I always try not to just load up my team with uh, member prospects, but it is a little bit better now since you can actually adjust shooting and and things like that. Not everyone's taking 400 shots a season. I don't know why I'm scouting this guy, but I clicked on him anyway. He's got a picture. We don't care about him. This guy you care about. Because that could be EA generated. 
All right, keep moving on. All those guys, actually. Never mind. Mm, nothing. Ooh. I feel like that's a member. <laughs> like that name rings a bell. I wrote down the list. I remember some of the names from the list, and obviously did all the randomization of potentials and what year you're being drafted in. All right. Well, that's about it. Yeah. All right. That's about it. Moving on. Oof. We need to win some games. We need fucking Vanacek back. Yeah, we need Vanacek back. We gotta. Ugh. Mac. Oh, who cares about McElrath? I should put in that guy as the depth guy. You never know if he grow. <laughs> Whatever. We'll put him in. Come on, win those games. Win those games. What? Oh, he's a righty. Or a right D, whatever. Ugh. Ah! Holy shit! We're out of the playoffs by three points right now. Not looking good here in Washington. That's... Oh, not... And Ovi's even stumbling now, dude. What is happening? Mantha is ass. Mantha's ass. Get him out of there. He's just fucking ass. Yeah. Uh, just terrible. Just absolutely awful. Oh, she's doing great. Oh, she had 26 points. I mean, not great, but for us, it's pretty good. 20, yeah, he and he and Kuznetsov have a 26 points. We got to mix that up, though. Backstro Only a 17 points? What? Holy hell. Okay, I'm going to go back to Kuznetsov here because, Jesus, Backstrom's doing awful. Yikes. All right, we're going to say fuck chemistry for now and just try to get some goddamn scoring going. Holy shit. That is awful. I will check progress. You know what? Well, before, before I even do that. Good God, how are they so bad? We're simply not scoring enough. Defense is great. We cannot put the puck in the net, which is a surprise considering we have Ovechkin. I mean, he's the only one doing anything. He's, he's sub point per game now, though. God damn. You know, I don't care about this in the system. What? Okay, not a ton of growth. Bjorklund's growing. That's nice. Uh, of course, McMichael, LaPierre. Those guys aren't growing awesome. Whatever. Johansson's growing slightly, but good luck. Maybe he could becomes depth if he's lucky. Not a ton of growth, though. Missing out on Prota, Protas, Protoss. I'm just going to call him Protoss. All right. Yikes. That's not even going good. All right. Hopefully, these changes get us some offense. Who the hell knows? But our other goaltender's almost back. But not that that matters. We're just trash. I'm going to try to go up to the deadline. If we struggle, we'll have to try to make some changes. But come on now. More changes. I don't even know. Finally. Oh, my God. Vanacek's back. Yeah, Samsono's doing awful. Fukali's actually doing better. Stop the tape. Might even trade his ass, dude. He's only got nine wins. He's like the fucking reason we're losing. Can even can go with Fukale as the backup. But the problem is if Vanacek gets injured again. But with, yeah, with the, both of them being 83 now, I'm like, what the hell is going on? Let's see what Samsonov's value is like. It's kind of risky. And it's not going to free up any cap space, is it? I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it's not even good fucking value. Eh, it does free up cap space. Who wants Samsonov? Seattle. Do you have anything good that I could use? Like someone I could make get some better scoring on my third line? Veneers, no, not really. Yanni Gord, but that money. They don't want to give up their pick. We'd have to get seconds. They do have a shit ton of seconds, but they don't want to give them any any of them up. I don't think it's worth it. You can retain. But there's no fucking way. Like, retention. It's, that's not going to matter. Yeah. There's no point to retain either. Because we're trying to save money. I would free up two mil. Can't get much for Sam Sonov here. Is 
Is he RFA is the question. I think? Holy crap. Apparently I have notifications on. Uh, I can just check here. <laughs> um... No, he's not. Jesus, I can't check there. Yeah, see, that's that's how rusty I am. <laughs> he is RFA. They're both RFA. Sam Solonov wants an extension. The other guy doesn't. Duh. So Sam Solonov can be trade piece. Vanishek. Uh I guess I. C Man, like I kind of don't want to play both of them. Because I don't know who's... Well, I guess I will, because we can't really trade him off for anything good. We have seen... We have seen remember, in the past, we've seen Sam Solonoff have ridiculous seasons. So that's kind of the reason I don't want to complete... Like, if I can't get a first back from him or something like that, I don't want to trade him. Or, like, even a strong second. Like, I could I could maybe get it at the draft. Like, ugh. Or it could be a piece that we use to trade at the draft. I don't know. Anyway, he's back. We'll see who gets the starts here. I don't know who it's going to be. We'll get maybe get an idea from where the record's going. I'm kind of hoping it's Vanacek and how the games go. Those are some nice wins. He wasn't out, I don't believe, but I'm checking anyway because we don't want him to miss too much time. No. Nope. Come on now. Win some games here. Get a point. Lose. Lose. We cannot score. That's really it, dude. We just simply can't score. All right, scouting time real quick. All right, moving. Oh my god, dude. It's those these are all winnable fucking games. Winnable, winnable, winnable. Winnable, winnable. Like holy fuck, we're leaving so many points at the table. We now have a sub 500 record. I'm pretty sure it's playing Sam. No, I can't. Like I don't know. I don't know who it's playing. Uh looks like Sam Sonov getting the majority of the starts still definitely has to be. Our one hope is to turn off rotations and go back to Vanish. But again, it's that we can't score. That's the main thing. We cannot score. Good God. Uh, Backstrom is awful. Like, okay, maybe he's not awful. Maybe he has no support. But holy fucking shit. I, I, I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm trying my best here to, to, like, spark some things. It's just, it's simply not working. Like, my all right. So our best bet here is I'll turn off goalie rotations, turn off rotations, and try try to just play Vanishek a lot, because obviously, what's his name's not getting it done. Sam Solonov, like he got slightly better, but it's no, it's not enough. But we have to basically cheese our way to victory. <laughs> of course, there's a back to back coming up, but whatever. I'm just gonna play him through it, honestly gonna play him all the way through it uh i'll go all the way up to here probably yeah i'll play advantage check here see this is how we're gonna have to win fucking games because we can't score uh a hernia awesome oh, of course wasn't that one of the guys who i put who i like sent down and put in there Just throw this guy in there, I guess. Pretty much everywhere. I don't care. We don't care about AHL as much. Or at all, really. Especially right now. Good lard. Look at all those centers. Alright, past uh, the Olympics. Or whatever the hell. It's all about Vanacek. Johansson now injured. Good lord. I don't know if we beat Carolina. We lost to that person. Leeson. Not actually out. Ugh. Now we're not defending well either. Uh, we're not making the playoffs. <laughs> I don't think we're making the playoffs here. That's why I was making sure we had our first in case things went tits up. And Dude, Backstrom is fucking shit. 24 points in 57 games played. He's absolutely god-awful. 
Like, it's, it's horrible. Horrible. I don't understand why he's that bad, but he is. Back to Sam Sonoff for a game. Can you win? No. Because we can't score. Whew. Whoa. Here we were, like, yeah, we're going to try to win that. Like, we're still going to try to do that with Ovi. But we're going to have to start moving pieces, man. We're really going to have to start moving pieces. Like, we have to get salary. We got to bring in sal. I don't, I don't know. I don't know how we're going to make this work, but we're going to try. All right, we'll give what's his name one more game here. Blues have fired their coach. We're going to have to probably get a new coach as well. But yikes, man. Like, holy hell. Scouting time real quick. All right. Ugh, we lost that game, too. Still two games below 500. Like, it's going to take a miracle for us to get to the playoffs. So, maybe look to sell here at the deadline. How much time we got in this video so far? I might be able. Might be able. Cause, but I do want to make a move maybe at the deadline. We lost that game, too. There's there's no fucking hope. Zero fucking hope we're going anywhere. Might as well sell if we can. Um, so, we ain't making it this year. We're not blowing it up. But we're going to try to sell. And see what the hell people want. First things first. I got to try to get... Good luck getting rid of Backstrom. We're fucked on Backstrom. We're absolutely fucked on Backstrom. Not That's not happening. Oh, she may... But even him! It's too big of a contract for too much term. This sucks. Man! It's the term for me. Whew. Oshi's like... Mm, like, you want to try to get rid of Oshi. Like, you have to. Who the hell wants him? Obviously, some kind of contend... The Lightning want him. Hilariously, they're listed as a seller, but they want Oshi. So, yes. Look at... Dude, look how many goddamn picks they have. Give me Toronto second. And something else. You're third. Actually, let's load up. Instead of that, let's go to 23 and get the Flames third. Just thirds in general. And then 24, we'll get Toronto's third from there. Though that, that, That's good elite, meet, meet them elite territory in the future. Damn. All right, so remove that one. That won't work. Maybe get the second. Maybe we can get a second. And we're honestly, we're just... They should make the playoffs. In the Pacific, 33, 25, and 4. This will just make them better as well with Oshi. And they can afford to pay that term. They're still listed as seller, but they want Oshi. And they have so many fucking picks. It's like, yeah, why not help out your playoff run? Let me see here. I'm trying to make... This is nuts. Why are they so good? Hold on. Let me see what else before I do that. Pittsburgh wants Oshi. They can afford him. They're going to run into that Malkin Latang issue. They probably. But hey, they, they, <laughs> we're not making that trade. Uh, that could work. They're listed as a buyer. Okay, the Rangers. Let's make them... Ah, I don't have anything for this year. There's no way I get a first. Zero chance. They have too many players anyway. Ha! <laughs> ha! How? Okay. Woefully insufficient. We ain't getting a first. Alright, um... It's Colorado's second, unfortunately. There's no way I get two seconds. Could I get their second from next year, perhaps? No. Sweeten the value just a touch. So technically, yes. Doesn't help us out right now. Who the hell else do I have to throw in here? How do I sweeten the value? to? Obviously. I could throw in Fukale. That should sweeten the value just a touch. How many years does he have left? He has an extra one, so you might as well... I could hold on to him also. What else we got? Anything I'm not going to use here that I could maybe swing and... 
grab something else. Magnuson. Yeah. Throwing Magnuson. That definitely sweetens the value. Uh, but now. Third for this year. There's no way I get this. I would love to. No. Damn, I wanted to get a pick in this draft, but I won't I won't from this deal, I know that. But a third and twenty-three? No, maybe not. I was thinking Ma uh, Magnuson might be able to do it. A third and 24? Anything? No. Oh, I already did that. Maybe 25? Again, those are decent medium elite territories. Nope. Okay. So, forget Magnuson. Let's just throw in Fukale. I know he's got the extra year, which could help us, but he's a dime a dozen goaltender. Oh, really? Okay. Well, so they're still not going for that. <laughs> Like at all. There you go. They wanted a pick. Yeah, we got some invalid lines now. Don't worry about that. But Oshi's the fuck out of here. I don't care. Uh, that contract was awful. I had to get rid of him by any means necessary. We did. We'll throw Larson in. We're fucked on Backstrom. We gotta hope he bounces back. I don't know why he's doing so bad. That is awful. I've, we tried him several different ways, but now the good news is we freed up some cap space. Yeah, we freed up some cap space. Mantha's doing terribly. Doubt we get anything for him. I want to get. I want to get out from under that contract too. I know that, but he's maybe a guy we have to. There, yeah, he's not even nowhere up uh, close to being up here. He's garbage contract. Yep. So, remember when we trade for him and like try to make him better when, on one franchise mode? This is essentially what happened again. Uh, we're going to have to hold... Like, there's no point in tr selling low on him. Eller, I would not mind getting rid of. Like, not at all. He's got decent... Like, decent value. He's got one extra year term-wise, so it makes more sense to trade him next, but... Yeah. We gotta hold on to these three for sure. We're gonna have to try to sign someone in free agency. Might make sense to get out f from under L or get a new three. Here's the thing, man. Are we gonna get a new 3C for that price or better? Hard to say. Really hard to say. It's a tough call. You gotta hold on to Wilson. You have to hold on to these guys. Alright, well, let's just explore. Let's just explore. We're not gonna get much for Eller. That's the thing. Minnesota wants him. Vancouver's second? How's Vancouver doing? Okay. Okay. All right. That should go through. I need some kind of a player to, to fill. Let's see. Um, Cramerton. Let's find centers here. Let's see what they got in the way of centers. <laughs> well, it doesn't have to be anyone fancy. I want to get rid of Kovanov, huh? It's really terrible. They want to get rid of him. I don't think that goes through, though. No way. It's, it has to be someone with no value. Unfortunately, they don't really have that. It could be, honestly, a forward. Any any forward, actually, because we do have the other guy. Let's go by overalls and shit value. There you go. Delorier. Let's grab Delorier. Eller for a second and Delorier. Ah, see, yeah, it's the it's the salary issue. <laughs> it's because they're gonna have all that dead cap as well. This is the this is what I want to trade. Ah, shit. Yeah, that's the issue. Fuck. That was the best because they had that Vancouver second. They don't want.
They only have their own second. It's that I, I kind of has to be the wild here. The problem is, what if I just went straight up? No, they won't do it. Can I take? Well, let's see what they got cap wise. Can I take back a shit contract? Goligoski. It's a player. Greenway. Yeah, it's just too much value. I need someone with no value with money, but not really a thing here. Shoot. Damn, it's that Vancouver second, which I really want. Kulikov. Maybe that does it. It's the extra year. No. I'd have to retain. I don't want to do that because we're still trying to go go in next year. Alright, let's look elsewhere for Eller. Late seconds don't do anything for me. This does something for me. Next year's second and another second? Probably not. No way. Oh, they have too many players anyway, so we'd have to take someone back, which is fine. Let's look for that. Hopefully someone who could just fill a role. Hello. <laughs> That's right. That helps him out too much. This guy. That'll work. And I can get back probably another pick in this. Let's grab a 4 from 24. Let's just go a bit deeper, just to guarantee more chance at elites. 25-4. That would work. All right. Hold on. Jeez. Sweet in the valley just a touch. Here's where I could throw in Fukali. They don't want him, but that should work. No, yeah, that's right. Too many players. I can't unless it's an unsigned person. I do have the low six unsigned. That could be beneficial to trade at some other point, especially as they don't want him. Anyone else unsigned? Any junk? Doesn't look... Uh, yeah, low nine. Would that work? Yep. Alright. Cool. Hopefully Calgary's shit the next year and Goudreau walks, etc, etc. We'll see. Alright, so what I want to do here... Good, he got brought in. We're just going to throw him in there. Doesn't really matter. There we are. <laughs> okay. We sold some pieces off. We got a couple picks here and there. Still got Fukale. We now don't have a depth forward, but let's hope for the best. Fingers crossed. That's probably all we can sell off here. We're going to have more cap space for next year. Hopefully we can kind of retool and be able to come back a bit stronger. But, yeah. We're going to need more from Carlson. We're going to need more from everyone. It's a lot more from Backstrom. Probably more from Ovi, too. It's, yeah, only 34 goals, man, in this first year. Not good enough, buddy. But he's going to need some more support. I, I don't get why Backstrom was so bad. I really don't understand. Anyway, we're just going to finish. Since we're probably not making the playoffs now, we're going to finish off this season. All the way. Watch us watch because we made our team shit. We're going to be better now. Oh, uh, wait. Hold on. I have, I have auto rotations, don't I? Anyway. I could probably just go back to... I just, I just skipped that. That was Hurdle and other sh Stop, stop, stop. I was, I was so busy talking. That's a massive fucking trade. Ah, uh, I never use this. Where do I go? <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Where's... Activity feed. Pardon me. What? Oh, Jesus, that's right. <laughs> eh, I don't use it. Okay, they called up Ryan Merkley. Hold the fuck on.
They acquired a first and a third from Nashville. And it, it cost Tama it cost Turtle and Burns. That's a horrible fucking return. That's so awful. <laughs> Like, in, in the context of NHL, that is... Honestly, yeah, if you only get a first for Hurdle, you, you fucked up horribly. Even if you only get a first and third for Hurdle, you fucked up horribly. Holy hell. Lol. Absolute lol right there. It's a big-ass trade, but lol. Lol, Sharks. Oh, my goodness. All right. So... Honestly, as I said, since we're pretty much tanking now, I'm just going to turn back on auto-rotations and say, fuck it, because I don't care. We we tried our best with what we had, and no cap space, so you couldn't do much. Auto-rotate back on, and we're just going to get to the end of the season. Whew. Rough. Pretty rough right there. Pretty old Washington Capitals. Literally, the old Washington Capitals. They're fucking old. The whole team, retirement home. All right, let's just lose out the season, baby. Lose out the season, baby. Josh Brown, are you worth anything? No. I'm like, hmm, anyone going to be on waivers that we could just claim for value? Nope. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Here we go. Connor Sheary. I'm just going to go ahead coach replace this player. We don't care enough. Oh, my goodness. Hershey, Scarbo. I don't know. I don't care enough about that either. What the hell? Sheary's back. Get him in there. Why are we going to win all these games now? HL season's over. Sherry's fully healed. Scarboso's fully healed. I don't even know who came out. Must have been this guy, right? Yeah. Scarbosa gets back in. Still missing... What? Maybe not. Whatever. HL season was over. I don't even know if they made the playoffs. I could have. I don't think so. Because there's nothing popping up here. Yeah, there's no... Anyway, so it didn't matter. 38-41-3 uh, season. Missed the playoffs. Ovechkin end of the season. Point per game with 53 goals. He did everything he fucking could. But we weren't sniffing the playoffs, man. Not even... Actually, we're not, we're not going to have too bad of a pick by the looks of it. Not going to have too bad of a pick by the looks of it. But the problem was we could not score goals. And defense fell apart at the end, but that was mostly because Vanacek got injured. We started going with Samsonov, and yeah, he's ass. Power play. Like, penalty kill was fine throughout the course of the season. It's just, we just weren't good enough. We had eight shorties, four, and stuff like that. But all and it was 79 points. Sixth in the division. Yeah. How were we in compared to the NHL? Carolina won the Presidents. We were eighth worth, so not guaranteed a top 10 pick, but it's. Good chance that we get a top 10 pick, which is hilarious. Didn't think <laughs> Buffalo was the worst team. Didn't think that was going to happen. Uh-oh. So who gets to go to Buffalo and, and, and get, have their career ruined? <laughs> uh. Ovechkin. Point per game. The only one close. Kuznetsov did pretty good. Carlson actually ended with 60 points, which wasn't bad. Wilson Baxter only had 40 points on the entire season. That is so awful. Mantha with 36. Good lord, I'm not even, like, switching by stuff. It's just bad all the way around. Even Vanacek sh shit the bet at the end. <laughs> Fukala was our best goaltender, and we traded him. Or wait, did I? I don't even remember. I think I did. Maybe I didn't. I... Yeah, he's still listed there, so I guess I didn't. <laughs> Unless they fixed that. Probably not. Let's be real. All right, let's check around the entire league. Austin Matthews led the way in points and goals. Wait, 56 or 54? Yeah, he had 53. You dick, Austin Matthews. Ovechkin couldn't get the Maurice Richard. Well, imagine only scoring 55 and making the playoffs, most likely. Ovi was only two behind you and had a terrible team. Whoa, Philip Forsberg. Holy shit. I don't think we've ever seen him have that many goals. 51 goals for Philip Forsberg. Whoa, he actually shot. Did they change him? Crazy. Kutrov at 46. Assist leader was Larkin with 72. The Iser plan's coming together. Who's the most clutch? Oh my god, probably... Yeah, probably Tyler Bertuzzi. 12 and 29. 11 and 26 is also close, but man. Power play goal leader was Ovi with 19. Power play point totals 32 for uh, Matthews. Shorty's 5 for Vinny Trocek. 
Nine points total. Damn, dude, that's an insane amount of shorthanded points. And we'll check out. We'll see. Yeah, Bergeron, O'Reilly. <laughs> Crow even Crosby's up there, but he ain't going to compete with those two. So Bergeron, O'Reilly, maybe even Barkov in there. It's pretty standard for the early. Uh... Wow. Not a lot of points for defensemen. No one hit 70. So Hughes, 68 and 24. So in that, Carlson didn't do bad at all. No, he really didn't. Eight points off the leader. But, uh, yeah, Hughes probably going to be taking home that Norris. Maybe Yossi, but I think the point difference is too much for Hughes. So Quinn looking good. Makar is nowhere to be seen. <laughs> that's hilarious. Imagine Fox being ahead of Makar in points. That is, that's, 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 that's rich. Oh, man. Okay. Goalies. Freddie Anderson. Up amongst the leaders, but... <laughs> Grubauer, 927 and a 9 and a 219. By far and away the best goaltender. Everyone's predictions, you're fucked. Don't even, if anyone guesses Grubauer, I know you're cheating. I know you're cheating if you guessed Grubauer. There's no fucking way you would guess Grubauer. <laughs> oh, that is amazing. Rookies, uh, Lucas Raymond with 77 points. Zegris, nice. He would, he would. He would get 69. Mo Sider up there with 55. Rooks, Cockett, it's a rookie. That's hilarious. Uh, Ned, also a rookie. That's also hilarious. But yeah, it's going to go to uh, Raymond. As it should. And we'll do the fun stats now. Hits. Only one guy. O'Reilly with over 200. Fights. 12 for Borowiecki. And everyone else is soft. Kunin fought. Lol. We'll see if he... We'll see. As he gets to play top six minutes this year in San Jose. Let's go. <laughs> All right. So that's that. Draft will be in the next one. This season did not go as we planned or as we... I guess we maybe thought it could have gone like this. But, wow. Uh, so, hopefully a top ten pick. Grab ourselves something good. Maybe even trade his at. Who the hell knows. But the goal is still to win cups. We're still... We'll have to retool now. We unloaded some stuff. But we're still trying to win. So... Yeah, we got to try to get over another cup. That's the goal. Before he retires, he's got to break the record, and we got to get him one more cup. And then we can kind of retool or rebuild. So we'll try to draft as we go so that rebuild's very, very quick. We'll see how that's going to be able to work out here. So let me know what you guys think, of course. And remember, hit that like button. I'll see you in the next one.